Hey everybody, um, it's around like 10 o'clock p.m. now, and uh, yeah, so, yeah, so kind of lazy, I'm, I'm just like, you know, it's going through flow thought process now, and um, I figured I'd tell you about the show, like, so far, um, called Snow Drop. And for those who don't know, um, Disney Plus actually dropped a K-drama, um, that's a Disney Plus original called Snow Drop. And to be honest, I found it kind of surprising at first. I mean, I also realized, you know, Disney does have um, a lot of foreign subsidiaries as well. Um, along with the fact that they even have, like, you know, Disney France and that kind of thing. So, you know, at one point surprised, at another point. Not so surprised, but still kind of surprised. Anyways, um, great show so far, even though um, I've only finished two episodes. The rest of the long episodes, but that's K-dramas for you. It tend to be, like, more than, like, an hour long. It feels like a movie almost every episode, to, to be honest, but, um, so great show so far, and, and, um, again, not to give too much weird, but it does play, take place in 1987, um, when the Cold War is happening, so there's, like, a lot of, like, um, anti-communist hunt-downs, hunting and stuff like that, so, yeah, there's a lot of that going on in the show, it, in the show, um, and, yes, it is famous for having Gissim in it, but at the same time, that, um, very minor romantic subplot is actually pretty much compared to the fact that there is a lot of, like, anti-communist, um, I think, and stuff like that. So, yeah, it does serve, like, as a backdrop for it, to be honest, um, but, yeah, but again, so far, great show, actually. I highly recommend it. Again, I don't want to give it too much, just give away, like, basic summary. That's, like, the most basic summary I can give so far, but it is great and amazingly just, uh, well done and stuff, so, yeah, but, again, great show so far. Highly recommend it. Thumbs up, you. See you guys next video.